Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and I was scrolling through the index page to see what tank I haven't played uh, yet uh, in the tier 8 and you know what I noticed, the Centurion 1 never ever been played, so let's change everything and meanwhile while we are going into the battle fellas i want to thank for every single of you who are watching a youtube videos and who are having a blast maybe learning one or another new thing for yourself and overall for your support via the, via the patron or channel membership or uh, gifting us bananas in the index page thank you very much fellas i hope i am worth it and i hope you are enjoying the journey together so thank you very much for everything fellas i do i truly do appreciate you so what do we have the very first battle red shire and obviously i believe i do not need to say the centurion is not a very powerful tank in my opinion in the best case scenario this vehicle is playable um what is so what is so uh, good about the tank or what is so bad about the tank? Overall, the tank should be completely fine, right? It has some speed, it has opportunity to play hold down, it has... Well, fellas, it is average at everything and this is a problem. <clears throat> Whenever you have average tank at literally everything, it is just simply not good. There is no strengths whatsoever. So, for example, even um, speaking about the gun handling, gun handling of this vehicle is not that great. And this is very worth to highlight this, fellas. So, look at this. Standard penetration 226, which is not looking bad, right? It truly doesn't look bad. But the gun accuracy is not that great, especially considering what kind of caliber this tank has and uh, what this tank is capable of doing. And plus on top of that, shell um, velocity for some reason feels very, very slow. Um, gold ammunition. You can increase your shell velocity by, uh, by solid 250 meters or so, so by one quarter water but um, you are going to pay like 10 times more for your ammunition for firing that shell, right? It is very important thing to say and that's what I'm talking about. You see those shots which we are missing? Yeah, this is the main reason why I am not a big fan of the um, British medium tanks. Uh, unfortunately, but they are simply not that great, you know, and uh, I don't feel them that much. For example, I like Pershing. I know it sounds... Who is hiding behind me? Oh, you mother trucker. Um, for example, speaking about the same Pershing, um, probably Pershing might be even weaker than this vehicle is, but for some reason I would take Pershing any day, any time compared to this tank. And I know it sounds very, very weird, but this is how it works and this is how it goes. By the way, at this point we're supposed to have full HP, but uh, unfortunately we had a Scorpion G who was hiding behind us. Uh, it is happening quite often in the current um, World of Tanks, so I'm not even bothering to say... I am not even bothering to do so, it's just how it goes. Um, also, I don't know how about you, but um, how slow damage is, sta is stacking with, um, with a British uh, tanks which has 250 alpha damage or in this kind of situation 230 alpha damage, it just, it just, it doesn't feel right. I apologize fellas, but it simply doesn't feel right. and. I would love to say something different. I would truly love to say something different, but I just cannot, fellas. I apologize. So yeah, that's why um, this is my two cents about this tank. But in the same time, I cannot rate this vehicle unplayable pile of kaku. You know, um, I just cannot rate this vehicle that bad. Now. Let's go back to the game. What do we have, fellas? Unfortunately, we have a losing spawn in this map. Um, and if you don't know which is the losing spawn, the north is losing south uh, spawn and south is winning spawn. So, unfortunately, we are obviously not going to win the game. Uh, why is so skill? Why the north spawn is losing spawn? Because there is no business to go into the heavy line and whenever you are having... Um, half of your team which is going into the heavy line and feeding all those tank destroyers here it is no bueno um and this is exactly what happened in this battle 
So nothing what we can change about this. We can only, you know, cry in the corner, but we will try not to. And we will try to get as much use as we physically and possibly can, um, obviously. Meanwhile, the same gentleman who by the way fellas i really want to highlight this the same gentleman who got spotted and who was hiding behind me he said centurion idiot delete the game will do <laughs> yeah i mean i mean this is the this is the comic aspect of the world of tanks right fellas this is the comet aspect of the world of tanks so yeah i'm not afraid to show those games fellas i'm not afraid to sh show this straight in the face and overall to highlight situation uh like this this is definitely highlightable and fellas um i can tell you one thing we can always start from looking at ourselves speaking about the positivity in the game, you know? If we ourselves will behave like assholes, uh, can we complain others behaving uh, behaving like this as well? This is truly worth thing to highlight, my friends. It truly is. Meanwhile, what do we have? We have a killing shot here. Very nice. Beautiful. What do we need to do at this point? At this point, I would love to get a couple of more shots. I see this budget moving like this. This is annoying thing, but I cannot change anything unless he will go like this, which is possible. Beautiful. We eliminated this guy from the game. Very nice. And now this gentleman can clip us out like there is no tomorrow. I don't really mind too much as wrong as it sounds, fellas. I do not really mind this whatsoever actually he doesn't have the top gun if i'm not mistaken so that's not that bad maybe we will be able to eliminate this gentleman from the game what do what would you say and this gentleman is dead very nice okay meanwhile isu is hitting us in the side just like this not ideal but that's what we have and i would love to smack someone for one more time and unfortunately i am not capable of doing so Anyways, that's completely fine and this is what we have in this game. I think we played good for our abilities or, and what kind of tank we were playing with. Um, I think we did a great job overall for having a last stand and once again this map has a humongous advantage for the enemy team if enemy team is smart they will win this game all the time and especially i would say if both teams have the same level of players the south spawn will win at least in my opinion. Anyways, that's what we have, fellas. This is our performance. I'm sorry, Scorpion. I will delete the game right after I will make a video. So thank you very much about this. Um, and we made even 18,000 profits even when we fired a couple of the gold rounds in the end of the battle. I really want to check out the price of the gold. Uh, and as you can see, fellas, a price of the standard ammunition is 700 and price of the gold is 4.4. So you are paying... Um, roughly seven times more for a gold rounds right anyways let's go to the round number two let go all right and we are back so the second game pearl Li river pearl river okay so what is what is the performance which we want to take i think we are going to go into the heavy line because as strong as it sounds this vehicle has okay turret armor and i think there is a chance we are going to arrive into the heavy line in time obviously by any means we have no pad no match against the enemy heavy tanks by any means right we don't really have match um even against the curve run action shit just because how uh, good of the dpm that vehicle has but i believe since we are playing with a medium tank there is a tiny chance we are going to arrive into position at first and we can punish them once or twice before they will even arrive there um that's the whole plan and that's why i am going here fellas so let's take this position here and here we go curve river on action shit going through the middle beautiful punishment very very nice can we smack him once again this is the question and i think we should be able to beautiful another punishment for this gentleman we have couple of more guys who is going through the middle of the field and that's great and this is the start which we have from this side fellas it is not bad whatsoever and i am feeling quite great now 
if we are counting the guns enemies have four guns we have three guns so we already have quite a big disadvantage although what we have we have auto reloader even though he doesn't have the biggest dpm ever but he still have a burst of fire and we have the defender so what is our goal our goal is try to track this gentleman just like this unfortunately we fail doing so and what might happen enemies might I try to push like this very very soon and this is exactly what is happening but that's okay fellas relax take it easy we want to see the side of this gentleman we are going to punish him in the side very good and now if we are counting hit points as you can see enemies have more hit points they have more guns and at this point we can do only one thing and it is to say see ya for our guys right um we need to escape we cannot defend the side it is just simply physically impossible now what do we need to do we need to ask help for our team this is very very important thing to say and hopefully fellas our team is going to support us this is very very important thing and what do we have we have a curvevron action shit that's absolutely amazing and our guy should be able to smack him in the face very very soon at least i want to believe he will be able to do so luckily IS-3 did not aim it properly, so he did not hit us, that's good, and now Kerberbron action shit is dead. Double penetrator might smack us twice, and this is not what we are looking for, so we are trying to escape as fast as we physically and possibly can, and now our sniper schnitzel is going to help us um, as much as he can for sure. Beautiful, that's completely fine, even though if he is going to shoot us once, ay 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 Ay, 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 that was a mistake. I did not expect the 1 to 2 TM going here as well. But that's okay. No complaints, no regrets. Still extremely good performance for us. I am happy. Um, we have 3,000 combined and fellas, we was fighting for our hit points. We was fighting for our game. That's okay. Let's teleport into the end of this game, shall we? And we are back, fellas, with a victory and with a solid 3,000 combined. I am feeling great with this performance. It was a nice game. It was a uh, big pleasure to meet Ahe in the battle um, and once again it was a great game I'm very happy 50,000 profits three minutes of the game I mean what can we say it was fine let's go for a last game let's go and we are in the last game and this is going to be a tricky one um we have Muravanka tier 9 matchmaking and in my opinion weaker spawn uh, so let's see what we are capable of doing here this is the question so uh, there's a couple of options how we can play this battle option number one is to go into the heavy line and option number two is to go <coughs> into the medium line and i think i am going to go into the medium line at this point i don't want to be too aggressive by any means i don't want to go in front and say i don't want to do that but what I think we could afford, we could afford to um, take position somewhere here and simply wait until enemies will mess up. And usually, fellas, usually enemies have so much more forces who are playing up on the field. It's just how it goes, it's just how it works, fellas. And this is what I noticed, at least from my experience. Meanwhile, we are going to take our time to destroy this um, this house here. It is going to open a great position for our sniper schnitzels. And in the same time, whenever enemies will have some kind of silly goose ideas of being aggressive, we are going to be able to smack them. Now, what we can expect, we can expect this Leopata sitting somewhere here. And to be fair with you, our object is brave. He is playing with Yolo Wagen and he is going through the middle of the field like there is no tomorrow. Meanwhile, Leo is smacking him in the face. I am pretty sure I know where Leo is. And once again, in my humble opinion, Leo is sitting right there. But this is by any means not an easy game. In fact, it is very, very hard battle. And here we go. The zombie invasion begins, fellas. Enemies are, are making as much pressure as they physically and possibly can at this point. And once again, this is definitely expectable thing. Because they need to clear those two gentlemen who are playing here in front. And whenever they will try to clear them, we will try to shoot them and punish them for their mistakes. And this is why it is quite good to 
go in front here with a tank with which you have quite a bit of um, armor, you know. If, for example, we would play here in front with a centurion i do not really think and i do not really want to believe we would have uh, the same performance if you know what i mean i want to believe we would take one for the team and this would be a game over for us but once again that's only me right okay so let's see scorpion g is getting involved beautiful tracking shot by us very nice i am super happy and he is dead beautiful okay how about this indian panzer is this indian panzer going Going to peak once again this is the question meanwhile this amix knows what he is doing and he just eliminated our e50 and once again he is doing absolutely everything properly and this is not bad whatsoever at this point i believe you noticed i loaded the gold ammunition because this amix is very very powerful tank in fact we rated this tank as a as a epic tank in the index and there is a reason why fellas and there is a reason why we rated this vehicle so good. Okay. Unfortunately, we are missing every single shot, which sucks. And this is not looking great at this point. But I have an alternative option. And this alternative option is to take the red line over there. And I believe, or at least I want to believe, we should be able to do so. So what we are doing, we are running like there is no tomorrow and we are going to take this red line over there. So look, from this position we are going to be able to punish enemies whoever will try to make pressure for our team or for us. This is going to be absolutely amazing and absolutely legendary. So watch this fellas. This is very, very, very powerful position, I'm telling you. This is extremely powerful position. All we need to do, we need to have our eyes open and we need to make sure we are punishing enemies every single time whenever they are going to make one, um, one or another pressure in front, right? And even though we don't really have an epic angle for this gentleman, we have another angle for Leopata. And once again, we are fine, fellas. We are getting a bit of assisting damage as well. And I'm not entirely sure do I want to shoot here. Maybe I could see sit here next to the red line and I would be completely fine and you know what in fact let's do so I have a feeling enemies do not know about anyone sitting here and I want to keep it in this way um, in the in the worst case scenario we are going to get spotted and we will die in the best case scenario we are going to survive here for another day 100 meters I should be quite safe and as you can see no one is making pressure for us very very nice this is what we want to see my friends this is what we want to see 70 meters no one spotted us this is great and this is the moment when we actually needed to think do we want to shoot the enemies or we do not want to shoot the enemies right and correct me if i'm wrong but everything went pretty damn good for us now we have some sniper schnitzels here in the back and this is always much appreciated and it is always nice. And at this point I kind of want to take this bush here. Why do we want to take this bush here? Because we are going to have a better angles for the enemies and there is a chance we are going to get more assisting damage, right? Which is very very important thing to say and important thing to do overall. Let's see. In fact, I know I can shoot him, but I don't really think I can win this game either way. So, you know what? How about if we will simply just shoot and see what happens, right? Bam, just in the ass like this. Very good. Indian is saying, what the flying F was that? Meanwhile, Amax is going in front. That's good. Not a big deal whatsoever. Going for the ass shot just like this. Now he's confused and he's thinking what the flying F happened. Eh, fellas, he ha they have mother trucker here in the back. They have mother trucker here in the back. This is what is happening now in the enemy um, in the enemy team. He went for a blind shot. Good job job buddy good job keep it up and we are just chilling at this point my friends we are just chilling at this point i don't really mind whatsoever believe me 
I am feeling pretty good with my performance already and I believe we should be able to eliminate him from the game as well. I want to fix the fuel tanks for obvious reasons, right? And we are trying to go for a lower plate shot, that's good. Now we should be able to eliminate him from the game just like so. And now we are going to fight against the Indian Panzer. Indian Panzer is in the water so he is not enjoying himself and we are going to make sure he is is going to keep enjoying himself if you know what I mean and unfortunately we are dead from 1 to 2 TM well what can I say losing spawn my friends losing spawn but you can say whatever you want we made them sweat okay we made them suffer quite a bit and it worked very very well in our favor and this is and this is the main reason why you should always check this corner Take a longer road and check for a little mother trucker in this corner, okay? It is very, very important thing to say. It truly is. Anyways, the last game, 2.5 thousand damage, 1.1 thousand assisting damage, everything went pretty uh, fine if you would ask me, we are top by the damage, we are top by experience, we lost 10 thousand credits because we fired quite a bit of the gold in the end of the game, and our performance with this vehicle is 2.3 thousand damage and 1 thousand assisting damage, although we have only 33% um, win ratio, but I would say we played with this tank well and we packed a solid 3.3 thousand combined and this is important don't you think so so fellas thank you very much for watching that was your daily dose of skill and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace